hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i'm taking advantage of today because i'm feeling really happy and i'm gonna do i'm gonna knock out at least three fucking videos so the first video is a vlog this one is a mukbang mukbang however you call it um i also am trying a new drink that i haven't tried before from starbucks so if you guys want to see me yum 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 and eat and try my new drink please keep on watching all right you guys so i'm very very hungry i went to three parks because i'm trying to find somewhere somewhere where it's kind of like um alone but i couldn't so now I, I went back to my usual spot so like i said in my blog i went to panda um i was gonna get only a bowl but the lady convinced me to get oh my god it's already sweaty in here it's really hot she convinced me to get the plate i didn't want to get the plate because i told her i didn't want to eat a lot but she said like uh because i asked for a little bowl of veggies and shrimp walnut and then i asked for a side of teriyaki chicken she's like you might as well get the plate and i was like uh I don't like to, I don't know, I don't like to be rude. So I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever you think is convenient. And she's like, yeah, the plate's better. I was like, okay. <laughs> so she gave me the plate. So I'm gonna show you guys right here how it looks like. I'm gonna open it first so you guys can see it. It's very packed with food. I'm not gonna lie, she gave me a lot of chicken. I wanted more veggies though, so yeah. That's okay though. Let me show you guys so show you guys the food i literally it looks really good it's kind of a little mushed up because i drive like crazy but i got veggies Ooh, let's zoom in the veggies yeah comida so i got veggies teriyaki chicken some rice and i asked her to add teriyaki sauce on top wow it looks really yummy so let's dig in yummy shrimp shrimp um we got a broccoli i also want to do mukbang but i don't want to do like unhealthy mukbangs because i am trying to lose weight and i'm trying to eat healthy but there's times where i can't but i'm on the most of the days i do try to eat healthy and then when i'm off i usually that's when i eat whatever i want because it's my day off but today i'm eating right so mmm Alright guys, so I ran out of footage, so ah, I dirty myself off. I had to go and erase some footage from my camera and now we're good. So like I was saying, I'm gonna do a story time with a mukbang. So I am eating panda and now we're gonna try the rice. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped some. We're gonna get some rice. <gasps> Ooh, dirty yucky. Mmm. The girl was very really rude. People are like, what the fuck you doing? Mm. Bon appetit. Uh. Eh, it's not that bad, but... Only because I'm thirsty. It's not good. <laughs> But it's, toler it's tolerable. I could drink it. I'm almost done with the veggies. She gave me more rice and veggies, but I put that aside because it had a hair on it. So I'm hoping I'm not eating no more hairs. Um, I finally decided to date because my friend, a friend, well, a friend that I have still, she's still around. A friend that I have, she um, convinced me, you know who you are, friend. Um, she convinced me to go to POF, and I, I don't know if she helped me with the account, or if I made it, I don't know. But the point is, I got a, a dating app, and I started talking to guys. So, um, I was talking to multiple guys, but then when I got really serious with one person that I was talking to, that's when I decided to take it to the next level, which means uh, meeting in person. Uh, keep in mind these people a lot of these people do not look like in the pictures i try to post as many pictures of myself filter unfilter so they know who they were talking to mm. very active guy back then i was more slimmer you know going through heartbreak my shoes more weight so i was looking good too you know um so then 
So then um, we were talking, we were vibing, you know, he was very nice, very sweet. And then he, um, we decided to meet on Valentine's Day. Um, I did tell him that he had to meet my parents first because he was in a dating app and I was kind of scared. I didn't know if this person was going to be real or not. So I told him, if you're okay with it, you have to come to my house and meet my parents so they know who I'm going to go out with. Um, he said, yeah, it was fine. So then he went, went to my house, he parked, and then I saw him. I was like, what the hell? He wasn't, he was kind of short, but not short, short, short. He was kind of like in my height, but the one thing he had was good fashion. He dressed really good. He had like the collar shirt like that, like kind of open, open collar, and kind of showing the chest a little. Uh, he was very handsome, you know, or whatever. Um, he had the whole day planned. He said, I'm going to take you go out and eat to um, this very nice restaurant. And then we go to AMC Theater. I'm going to freaking like watch a movie. Everything was so perfect. We went to go eat. He paid for everything. I wanted to pay because when I go out on dates, I like to go half and half. But he was very persistent and wanted to pay. So I was like, okay, he paid. We went to the theater. Like I, I got I got the theater. I got the seats. I mean, the, the tickets. Same thing. No, you know, I got you. I work really good. He said, I earned really good. I can spoil this date. Not spoil the date, but like, you know, spoil me in a sense, I guess. I was like, oh, wow, okay then. So, he did knock down the theater. I guess it was the food he knocked out. When I was watching the movie, I looked over. He was, like, he was dead. <laughs> I thought it was kind of hilarious, but. Other than that, he's very attentive, very nice, very cute, you know. So then after that, we decided to get to the next level and we met up at his house. So we met at his house and I met his cat, a very, very cute cat. Um, after that, I noticed that he started talking a lot about his ex. And mind you, I did talk a lot about my ex too, but not as much. Because my intention was to actually get to know him. That he liked me and he wanted to date just only me. I had stopped talking to other guys. I stopped completely... I focused on him. Then. Then. One time I was. I got off work. And I wanted to call him. Oh did I call him? Hold on. No no. I got out of work and I texted him. I texted him. I was like. Oh like you know what you're doing. Whatever. Oh I'm kind of busy right now. I'm like okay. Later on the night, he always calls me every night. Like, it felt like we were in a relationship already, but not really. Because he never really defined it. So then, he said, like, oh, uh, I was busy. I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, okay. What were you doing? You know, just asking our curiosity. And he's like, I'm not going to lie. I was I was having, I had a girl over. I was a girl over? Wait a minute. A girl over? What do you mean a girl over? Like, yeah, just, uh, you know, get to know other people. Like, this girl, like, she's actually my type. She's white. She, he likes to date white women. I'm Hispanic. So, I, I don't know if I was his first Hispanic girl. Uh, not girlfriend, but first Hispanic girl he dates. But he likes dating white women. Um, His ex was a white girl, so. He was so proud of that. Saying, oh, yeah, she was Russian. Yeah, I'm like, okay, good for you. So then he's like, yeah, you know, I think this girl's more my type. She's she's light skinned, she has green eyes, yada yada. Oh my god, it made me feel like shit. I was like, damn. So what the fuck? So then I was like, alright, I told okay, it's cool. Uh I told him, delete my number, um, um, take care, good luck to you, and that's it. He went off. He's all like, wait, wait, wait a minute, what do you mean delete your number? I was like, yeah, like you chose to see other women and I had stopped talking to other guys so i can exclusively get to know you but apparently we were not on the same page so you date other people get to find whatever it is that you're looking for and i'm just gonna move on um you know there was other guys that i actually like and i wanted to get to know but i didn't get to know because you're the one that said that you wanted to get to know each other so oh, excuse me oh my oh my god he went crazy he went crazy
he went crazy he said no well, like what the hell no you're not yeah i mean well then i was like then what are we then it's like i don't know where this is going then so that's when he popped the question like then you be my girlfriend i'd rather you have you in my life than this other girl honestly i don't even like this girl yeah she is my type like physically wise but um i liked you better yada yada so then yeah we made it official how long did we last it being boyfriend girlfriend five days after five days i broke up with him because it didn't felt right I, I, I just didn't vibe with him anymore like i was just done so i told him i'm sorry this is just not going anywhere for me and i dropped him and that day he was so pissed i'm not gonna lie to you but he grabbed my my wrist like really really tight i don't know like he was just i i feel like if i would have got serious with him he was gonna be the really bad type so i'm glad i avoided that so that was a red flag right there and also the fact that he was really pissed because he had to go drop me off and i told him i will pay for gas he filled his tank with almost 50 dollars without even remorse dropped me off shut the door and fucking left and he still he still tries to talk to me here and there this was a long time ago then the last time i heard of him was like two years ago where he said he was around the area he wanted to go out i was like no i don't have no intention but yeah that was the story with that guy it wasn't the whole package but physically was the whole package but then we met up at the park he disregarded the fact that he just got out of jail I was like, what? I was like, why didn't you tell me you just got out of jail? Like, that's something really important. He's like, oh, yeah, no, but I did my time. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> Nothing bad with people that, you know, trying to make their lives after getting off jail. But no, for me, it's a no because he was still under probation, I think, or something like that. Uh, I'm just trying to date someone normal. Not even normal, but someone that... I don't have to be worried about because you know past and other relationships I I'm the type that worries a lot I'm the type that like I'm kind of like a mother I like to look after the, the boyfriend and I'm trying not to do that I want to be looked after I I want to be um, the type that actually gets taken care of once in a while you know I, I believe in 50 50 in a relationship so I feel like expenses should be divided in half attention should always be there a hundred percent and communication should always be there and that's well trust but i don't want to be ba baby in another guy that one was really really crazy also the fact that the second time we hung out he dropped his wallet and then i drove off and we don't live that close to each other it was like 30 40 minutes or something like that he texted me and said hey did you have my wallet like no i don't like hey fucking stop lying you fucking want my money you gotta like Bitch, please. Do you see what kind of car do I have? And do you see where you're at? And that's when he started going really aggressive with me, saying that I was trying to sell his money, yada yada. I was like, no. So then I do clean my car, and his wallet was underneath the chair. Not even my fault. He fucking dropped it. And I texted him, and I was like, hey, I found you. I was cleaning my car, and I found your wallet. All the money's there, your ID's there. <clears throat> you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, when are you available so I could go drop it off? Because motherfucker didn't have a car. So I was wondering. I drove over there, dropped it off. I opened the window like, not even like halfway, like like a little slit. I said, here. He took it like, oh, and, and then he checked this like, hey, you want to hang out? I was like, fuck you. I closed the thing. A deuces. I fucking left. I was like, you blame me of stealing your fucking wallet and your money. And then you're acting like you just want to hang out? Fuck that. Don't did I'm like, don't you even dare of blaming me of stealing anything. I hate that shit. I would never steal whatsoever from anyone because I like to I make my own money. I am enough to provide for myself and I don't need to be uh, stealing other people's money, especially little people like him. Anyways, that was the the end with him. So I make this video. That's it. Thank you for being with me and eating with me. Did not finish my food, but I will finish it. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, sorry I have food in my, my mouth. Please subscribe to my channel. Click on the post notifications so you can get notifications when I upload another video. Again, you guys, thank you so, so much. And we'll see you guys in the next video.